Hey guys, welcome back to the Alcohol Free RV. My name's Todd, and today I'm going to go over the second part of our storm window installation or plexiglass winterization technique. This is something that I was able to put together with the help of a kit that I bought from windowsaver.com, which provides all of the materials necessary to be able to uh, stick the plexiglass to the window frames. I'll give you some real results numbers, temperature differences, and everything like that. So stick around. Mark it in three places. And I'm just using a plexiglass knife to cut it to size scored about five or six times on each side and then it just snaps off I decided to make sure that the windows were a little bit safer by sanding down any of the rough edges or sharp corners uh, I think this is a 60 grit sanding block that I used it worked out pretty well I, I don't know um, yeah. This whole process of getting the windows set up for, uh, getting the plexiglass set up for the windows is somewhat tedious, but I think overall it really works. Now, the first step is to cut the adhesive strip to size. So I just applied that straight to the plexiglass and then cut it to length. I really do like the fact that the kit comes with everything that you need to install these to your window frames. It was about $200 I think and it was enough to do all of the windows in our RV. So overall pretty good deal. I couldn't find anything at the local hardware stores that would have made this process as easy as it is. Once you've got the adhesive in place, the next step is to cut your magnets. So the magnets apply to the adhesive that you've put on the plexiglass. And I'm cutting three strips to four feet and then uh, trimming the vertical pieces to size. And these just apply pretty simply and then you want to use some sort of roller or apply even pressure across the whole piece and then once it's done I just kind of wipe it off with an alcohol wipe and again kind of tedious because it's the same process over and over and over I think I used all sort of manner of uh, items to try to roll it flat because I don't I don't have a traditional roller but uh, I think it worked out pretty well again just a little alcohol wipe make sure everything sticks well at the time I'm using a uh, tape roll <laughs> Now these magnets are kind of stronger on one side than the other, so if you do get this kit, make sure that you're using the uh, less strong side on the adhesive because you want the stronger side touching the metal that gets mounted to the windows. I think I screwed one or two of them up throughout the process. The next step is to actually cut the metal strips that will mount to the window frames. Surprisingly enough, this wasn't very sharp, I didn't feel um, like I was risking getting cut by having uh, no gloves or anything but again this time I cut four foot sections three of them for my four foot by two foot windows and then one of those ended up getting cut to length for the vertical pieces again there's a lot of I don't know manufacturing oils and stuff on here so a thorough cleaning with alcohol wipe is necessary and then I did my best to kind of straighten these things out kind of 
flatten them so that you know I knew that I was going to be able to get them firmly and flatly onto each of the window frames. Once they're cleaned off, there's this fancy schmancy colored um, adhesive tape. So this is just to you know prevent seeing the the raw metal. It's not a perfect match to the stain, but as you'll see coming up, it is pretty good and I think it's sufficient. Uh, they only have two colors to choose from. They have this brown and also a white and we chose the brown obviously so that it kind of blended into the wood. If you were painting your, your window frames then I think that the white would probably work just fine. The adhesive on this was a little bit strange because it didn't seem very strong to begin with, but after you know it had a, some chance to set, it actually got a, a much stronger. And once you have the the fancy schmancy colored piece on, then you can flip everything over and get your adhesive strips on the back side. And you really want to wait about 15 minutes between putting these adhesive strips on and application of any weight. So what I did was I made them, let them sit for a while, kind of worked in assembly line process, did multiple, um, multiple of these sets, and then installed them on the window frames. But again, just trying to get everything firmly in place. Then I lined the the uh, these strips by uh, putting a, a little scrap piece so I knew how far out to, to put them and then just lined things up level. On some of the windows I went all the way to the bottom. Um, some of them I kind of put them in the middle of the window frames. I think I like them in the middle of those those bottom strips a little bit better because it prevents the plexiglass from being too far down. Now, as you can see, I've only put one magnetic, uh, one metal strip on the window frame, and it's strong enough to actually support the weight of all the plexiglass, but obviously that's not gonna create a complete seal. So I used that to figure out exactly where my top piece needed to go. And then I marked that down. And once I had everything marked off, I was able to peel the ad ad adhesive off and install the strip on top. Again, just making sure everything goes on flat and rolling it down and then doing the vertical pieces. I was able to trim the vertical pieces so that they were as perfect as a fit as possible. You can see me trimming, trimming, trimming just to make it right. And then once I had it trimmed right to length, stick it on same thing went for the other side and as you can see here's here's where you can kind of see the difference between the brown strip and the stain that we chose it was hide pretty well I think in the summer when we don't have the uh, plexiglass in place I think it's gonna uh, pretty much be seamless And a quick wipe of the plexiglass and we're virtually done with the installation here of the window. Now I do take it one step further so I can avoid any drafts. So I didn't film this entire thing, but basically any place there's a joint, I put caulking in place. Uh, that way no drafts were able to get through. And I went around all sections of the window frame and all sections of, uh, well, everything. And then even took it one step further, here you see I'm detailing in where the joints meet for the uh, metal strips, and I did the same thing on the windows, where the uh, magnets met. Alright, so how well do these things actually work? Well, we've had them up for about a month now, and I feel like the comfort level that it affords is actually pretty amazing. We keep our house, RV house, at 69 degrees during the day. And this is the side window in our main slide. And 
What I've done is kind of propped the tip of a instant read thermometer just a little bit away from the window, maybe three quarters to an inch. And I've let it sit there for a while in on position and it keeps a 63 point four degrees 63 point five degrees so a little cooler than the uh the actual room temperature but it's a window on a slide now i'm going to go ahead and stick the probe into the airspace between the window and the plexiglass so we can see the difference for reference it's 18 degrees outside right now all right i've had this probe in in between the plexiglass and the window for the last five minutes so let's take a look and see how cold it is in between there forty four degrees that's pretty chilly that's like a twenty degree differential between um, outside and inside of the window frame so that tells you that this process actually does something I don't know if it changes how frequently the uh, the furnace runs, but it has definitely helped our overall comfort in here. Definitely a, a mod I would recommend. The plexiglass, I had to buy two four by eight sheets. Um, those were about a hundred dollars a piece. The magnet kit was two hundred dollars, and then a couple hundred dollars on the pine stock that I used to create the frame. Another thing that I love about this setup is when summertime comes around or if we have a warm day in the middle of the winter, sometimes we get 70 degrees here in Colorado. So uh, it's really simple to take these on and off. That's all it takes and to put it back on, same thing but backwards. Done. I really like it, honestly. They seem to be working out pretty good. It, they they haven't prevented all of the ice up on the outside windows. Not quite sure why that is. I've got things sealed as good as possible. As, as I had in the previous part of the video, you know, I've put caulk around the all the joints and everything. So I don't know, but it certainly helps. Well, guys, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate you tuning in to this episode of the Alcohol Free RV. Hopefully, you'll find everything that I've shared with you at least somewhat interesting. And if you did, go ahead, click that subscribe button and that little bell icon so you get notified when we have more content coming your way. And with that, we'll see you next time.